G'day everyone, welcome back to Owl's Kitchen and I've got a food review for you guys today. I just whipped on into Hungry Jack's and I got a Yumbo Burger. So apparently these were discontinued in like 91 or something. Um, so essentially it's just like a, a ham and cheese on like a little burger roll. Or as, as, as the um, Americans would say, it's a sandwich. I, I kind of agree with this, it's pretty small kind of like a sandwich but um i'm gonna review this for you today it smells like ham and cheese so let's open it it's only three bucks so it's pretty pretty cheap um let's just see how much we get on the burger so let's have a good look at this thing so. oh it looks like it's got a lot of ham on it oh look at that that's got a lot of ham on it wow i think that's how many pieces are on there? I'd say six or five. Whoa. Look at the cheese. Oh, mate, look at that cheese. It's like really melted. It looks so good. All right, let's, let's go in, shall we? pretty good the bun's a bit the bun's a bit rubbery and i think that's probably because they've microwaved this probably to melt the cheese i mean lightly toasting it might have been an idea but taste wise it's actually pretty good mm. Mm. basically tastes like a ham and cheese sandwich on a roll it's pretty good i mean the amount of ham on there is is actually really good you can see hanging out the side there like so much ham on there mate mm. 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 it's pretty good it's pretty good um i'm usually pretty good with hams i'm, I'm pretty sure this would be like your your deli ham like your basic ham, I'm, I'm guessing like a deli ham or something. I mean, if they do something like honey, which would have been a bit more expensive, that would have been really, really nice. Uh, I think one thing they could do to upgrade this and make it absolutely amazing, and even if they have to charge a bit more, is put leg ham on it. Leg ham is absolutely divine. If you haven't tried leg ham or ham off the bone, oh, mate, you're missing out. But this is pretty good. Hmm. It is salty. It has got a saltiness to it. The cheese is nice. I mean, it does kind of, it's kind of bland for a ham and cheese, but I mean, it's not bad. I've only got about probably two more bites than that. I'm taking pretty big bites. I am really hungry. Um, usually if you're really hungry too, you'll be biased towards like what you're eating because you know you're so hungry but i'm not saying it's bad it's pretty good three more bites i think it was all right last bite So, what would I give this burger out of 10? Well, I mean, the ham, the choice of ham, I think, is a bit bland. I mean, it's not bad. Um, the cheese tasted really good. I'll say that. The cheese tasted really good. The bread was a bit rubbery. I'm guessing that's because they microwaved it. Um, so, what would I give it out of 10? I'd say about a 6.3. Oh, well, maybe it's... I'll go a 6.4. I'll give it 6.4 out of 10. It's not bad. Um, I, I found it a bit bland. Um, but full value, $3. I mean, that factors into my 6.42. Is $3 is, is, is pretty cheap. And I have to say, I feel better. I don't feel full. 
but I feel better after eating it, you know, like in terms of how much I've eaten, there's like a ton of ham on there, you know, I definitely reckon, you know, going on into Hungry Jack's, it just over there, I didn't get a shot of the store, but um, going to Hungry Jack's, try one for yourself, see what you think, but yeah, I definitely think if they use like ham off the bone or something, oh mate, alright guys, thank you so much for watching, uploads every day, um, stay awesome, signing out, bye.